Hammer has named him Exterminator. I love that. Um, I know we asked for names for the elephant, but uh, Hammer decided the elephant's name was Exterminator, which is hilarious. So we have Exterminator the Elephant. Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 4 of RimWorld. My name is Dylan, I'm so glad you're choosing to join us. In last episode, I believe we were kind of clearing out this little mountain space. We were going to put a rec room up in here and a medical bay. We are up to five citizens and we are kind of, we're kind of rocking. We are, we've enclosed our little valley area. Admittedly, it's been a couple days since I've played and it is also... I'm pre-recording still. I have not published episode one yet. I think as of recording this, like episode one is scheduled to post tomorrow. So I'll have some feedback on episode one, hopefully next episode. So for you guys, episode five, sorry to be confusing. I just like to pre-record these. So I'm kind of on top of things. You know, I'm a full-time college student. So sometimes I need things just a little bit pre-recorded so I can kind of edit at my leisure. But um, Red kind of messed himself up because he's now trapped in here. So let's mine these two. To open up this little hallway in my free time all i have been doing really is watching um rimworld playthroughs so i've got a lot of kind of ideas better ways to do things some different strategies so i'm kind of excited to play jump in the first thing i'm going to do i did not realize this was a thing but right now we are just cooking a single simple meal and a single fine meal at a time what I did not know is there is these times four option. And what that's going to do is it's pretty much going to eliminate how much time they have to like walk in between. So when they cook one at a time, they're only going to grab materials to grab one meal, cook it, and then put it away. Grab another single meal's worth of ingredients, cook it, put it away. Instead, we can have them do four at a time, which is much more efficient. They're going to grab enough ingredients to make four meals and then put it away. So it's less walking they have to do. It's ultimately going to save us time. So we are going to set that up really quick. I also figured out you can shift click. Oh, that's by 100. Is it control click? Yeah, control click. Brings it up by increments of 10. And then fine meal, we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to cook a good amount of fine meals. Again, as long as our freezer stays frozen, there's really no downside to cooking like an abundance of meals. And we want to try to have more fine meals than simple meals because the fine meals are going to make our citizens more happy. So I think we're going to do 10 simple meals. Nope, oh, but I did the same thing. We need to do fine meal times four and until I have 50, give or take. This should just make things a little bit easier for us, I hope. So let's go ahead and play that. And I think we're looking pretty good. What I do want to do really quick is we're going to make our freezer a little bit bigger in anticipation for some other things that I'm planning to do. Looks like this area is getting mined out pretty well. We'll start to go ahead and wall that off and we can start adding some walls here. A mad alpaca has gone mad. It'll attack everyone that it sees. I think what we're going to do is um, let's actually just ready everyone up and let's just attack it. Um, I think that's probably the best course of action. Let's kind of get behind these rocks. And it's been a second since I've played this, so there we go. Oh, Ole is incapable of violence. Okay, that's good to know. So we'll actually let Ole do their thing. The four of you will go ahead and attack the alpaca here. Looks like Turtle's kind of the only one in the area, which is kind of an issue. Because Turtle's probably going to get pretty hurt. Yeah, I got some alpaca bites and bruises. Where's the rest of, like, where are the rest of our people? Okay, they're just moving really incredibly slow. Um, Turtle is really taking it. We probably should have planned this a little bit better. We should have grouped all of our, our colonists together before attacking. But that's okay. I don't think it's, like, life-threatening, so... I think we should be okay. Why are you not... I don't understand. Why are you not attacking? Okay, there we go. I'm um, good there. Let's undo that. Turtle doesn't have a weapon. So that's actually good to know. Do we have any weapons in storage? We do have a knife and a club. What did they... They actually prefer melee. So let's go ahead. My guess is the knife probably does more damage. But let's see here. Uh, hit points. Melee damage. 5.64. So 5.6 versus 5.8. So we'll have turtle equip... Oops. 
Turtle will equip the knife after he uh, she hauls and gets the rest. So I kind of queued that action up. The other thing I was going to do, um, I haven't gotten your guys' feedback yet, but kind of based off my own feedback, we are going to modify our storyteller. We're going to switch to Cassandra Classic, and we are going to do... We're going to stay on Adventure... Well... Hmm. Let's do Strive to Survive. I want a little bit more of a challenge. I want to make the series a little bit more interesting. So we're going to do that. Phoebe Chillax, we were just getting a little bit too much time in between kind of challenges, I think. So um, I can't advance time. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Okay. The other thing I wanted to do is look at our research tree here. We've got solar panel. I think after we do our solar panel, I would like to get some smithing done. And that's because I would like to start manufacturing guns um, pretty quickly because the raids are going to get more and more difficult, especially since we switched the storyteller. So it is really storming out. Looks like everyone's getting some rest. Turtle's injuries, I think, are... Yeah, they're going to be okay overall. Oh yeah, Turtle and Hammer are lovers. I forgot about that. Oh, Turtle got some loving, even though they were injured. So that's cool. That's cool. What I want to do here is... Let's see. What I would like to do is a couple things. This is going to be a rec room. This is going to be a... What do you call it? Medical bay. We're going to have way more beds than we need, but... What I'm going to do really quick here, uh, how far into this, there's a medical bed that we need to research. Where is that? Am I just missing it? Oh, it's all the way past microelectronics. Okay, well, we're not getting that for a little while. What I'm going to do, I'm going to queue some things up, but I don't want them to do it yet. So I'll show you kind of a, oops, a trick that I learned that is kind of cool that I knew about, but I guess didn't think about, is we can select all of these blueprints and then unallow them. So we can kind of plan things out that way where we can set the blueprints up, but then we're not gonna allow them to build anything yet, which is kind of a cool way to queue things up and kind of plan our little area here. I would like to get some flooring here. Let's get some wood floor in the rec room, I think. Yeah, I think I'd like to get some other uh, flooring in the medical bay, but to do that, I think I would like to go production. What am I looking for? A stone cutter table. We're going to do a steel stone cutter table. I think that makes sense. Can this be placed outdoors? No, we get a penalty for that. That's okay. We are going to place it for right now. I know it doesn't make a ton of sense, but we kind of have empty space here. So it's going to go in the little battery room for right now. And this will allow us to cut stone blocks. So all of this that's in the dumping stockpile um, admittedly, they've got to walk quite far, so we could... There's a good argument that we should actually have our stone cutter table, like, out here, closer to the stone. Maybe here's what we'll do. We will... Let's go ahead... Or should we just get the dumping stockpile somewhere closer? I guess that's something to think about. They're just going to have to walk a long ways to get these chunks. But honestly, it's okay for now. We're gonna get that stone cutter. That will allow us to get stone blocks so we can start making like stone walls, stone floors, things like that. They're a little bit stronger. They're not flammable. So I think that's super important. Let's go ahead and I think what we're also going to do, if I can find it, we're gonna get a stockpile in here. Again, it doesn't make a lot of sense with the battery room, but it's what we got for now. And we're going to clear everything except for items manufactured is that what i'm looking for i'm looking for stone blocks but i don't know what that would be it would have to be under manufactured raw resources why can't i find what i'm looking for is it our buildings i guess i could block stone blocks it's not our raw resources we'll allow all stone blocks to be there so the stone cutter he will have to walk away to get the stone, but then he'll just deposit those stone blocks that he's making in there. So that's good for right now, I think. And that just saves us a little bit of room in this stockpile. We will actually make sure this is a preferred stockpile so that the stone blocks, they prefer to put the stone blocks here. And then once this is full, they'll put it in here. Otherwise, they'll kind of, if the priority is the same, they'll put it in either one. 
So I want them to put it in here until this one's full, and then it can the overflow can go in there. So that's good with me. And it could make sense for us to get like a, a door here so they don't have to go outside to stone cut. But again, for right now, we're just working with what we've got. We've got a lot of tasks going on kind of at once. And Red is at a major break risk. So let's see. He's mainly just in pain. And I think it's because... I don't actually know what this is. Sensory Mechanites. Enhance the victim's senses. Oh, I don't remember him getting that. Maybe he got that last episode and I just don't remember it. But um, it does can be tended in two days. Does it go away? A mutated strain. Hmm. It doesn't say that it like expires or goes away, does it? Tend quality. Well, that's annoying. We'll see if that goes away, but that's really affecting his mood for sure. And recreationally kind of unfulfilled, which again, when we get this rec room up and running, will be a little better, I think. Let's go ahead also and start to plan out. Again, we're going to use that same blueprint for bidding to kind of plan out our area here. We're going to, what am I looking for? Recreation. So something else I learned, again, I'm not an expert at this game. So there were a couple things that I learned along the way. There are different kinds of recreation play. There's dexterity, cerebral, uh, solitary, social, television, telescope, music, etc. Um, and they typically don't need more than one type of recreation um, item available. So the, if I can find the horseshoe pin, where did I put that? That's okay. It's in here. The horseshoe pin is a dexterity. So it doesn't make a ton of sense for us to get a billiards table because that's also dexterity. But we are going to do it. Oh, you know what? We don't have cloth yet, do we? We need cotton for that. Okay, we're still going to place it. Um, must be placed standable on all sides. That is, is it not? How is that not placeable? Standable on all sides. How does that work? How is that not standable on all sides? Is it just because the, the rock chunks are in the way? That's probably what it is. We'll have to haul the rock chunks out first. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. a set of doors I guess we'll just get one door in the middle there did we get we haven't got this up and running I do want hammer is he yeah prioritize working on the stone cutters bench I think is a good plan There we go, and then we can add a bill, and we're just going to do any stone blocks for right now. So we're just going to do, um, until we have, I don't know, a thousand, a thousand and ten, because I guess that's what it's giving me. We're just going to make a thousand of any stone blocks for right now, I think. Uh, major break risk, yeah, red, it's just not doing well. Who's assigned to crafting right now? It's hammer and ole what we're going to do we're going to showcase the manual priorities here so this allows us to click numbers um i forget how to is it control click maybe you can't oops i just actually clicked out of room world um i don't know what i'm trying to do so there we go we're gonna set all of these to one so one is like the priority that they're gonna do first um and then two and then three and it's still going to go left to right so they will firefight even though firefight patient and doctor are all set to one they're going to firefight before they patient and then before they doctor so it still goes left to right but then we can kind of set for example if we set handling here they'll firefight patient doctor handle and then they'll come back to bed rest um so that's kind of how these manual priorities work and we're going to set all of these typically i set all of these to one and then doctoring i kind of set whoever's best at doctoring they're both pretty good and they both have a double passion for doctoring so we'll leave them there i think we're going to turn off doctoring for the other two for right now even though like they're fairly confident in it um they're fairly confident in it but they don't have passion those little it's hard to see but those little fire icons show that they have a passion for it so i think we're going to leave those two on wardening same with turtle we're just gonna have turtle warden because he's the best at it she's the best at it and she has a passion for it basically all passion means is that they will 
like learn a hundred and like regular passion they learn at a hundred percent efficiency and then double passion they learn at a hundred per hundred and fifty percent um just if you have no passion i think you only learn at like 25 percent so basically all passion means is the level up faster because they enjoy doing it it's pretty much all that means cooking we have a 10 and a 10 and they both have um a single passion so i think we'll allow both of them to cook hunting hammer i think is all we will hunt we could have red hunt as well but i think we'll have hammer it's really a good idea to kind of specialize like you have one hunter one cook etc i feel like that's kind of the best way to play this um construction is kind of a bigger job though so you can see red is better at construction but i think i'm gonna enable both of them so i think i want red is gonna be the main so i think i want this to be a priority of two so vaughn's going to cook and then construct but it's not going to be his main priority. I guess we could leave that on one because it goes left to right. Red is also a minor. So we're going to actually, so that could mean it could make sense for red to mine and then construct. So Vaughn is going to be the cook, but then he's also his main job after cooking is going to be constructing. So he'll be the main constructor and then red will be the main miner. But then if red doesn't have any mining tasks, then he'll construct. Um, and I think I may hammer growing needs to be first priority mining can be a second priority because he's good at it he just doesn't have any passion red has a double passion so red's gonna level up and you see red already has a 14 skill so that's really really good plant cutting we're gonna do a one so hammer's gonna be our main grower so hammer's gonna take care of most of our crops we could enable ole to do that too because uh, ole has a five but you can see hammer has an 11 so i think i want hammer doing most of the crop stuff what else do we got? Smithing, we got six. So I think we'll enable, enable that to two and two. I think Ole's main priority will be smithing and tailoring because they have a passion for it and they're really good at it. They could plant cut two, but again, I think I want hammer doing most of the planting stuff. Red is really good at art, so we'll enable that. Um, turtle, let's just have turtle not do art. Well, they do have a passion for it, so let's do two. I think I want turtle to be mainly, because I don't have anything enabled for turtle. So what I want to do, Turtle's going to be our warden, but then Turtle is going to be our main hauler and cleaner, and Turtle's also really good at research. So if there's nothing to haul, nothing to clean, Turtle's going to do the bulk of the research. And then, let's see here, crafting, Hammer's pretty good at, and Ole's pretty good at. We'll have Ole be the main crafter. We'll put that on priority two. I think I want hauling and cleaning to be a one for Hammer as well. So Hammer's going to grow, do all this planty stuff. Then he's going to haul clean. If the hauling and cleaning, there's nothing to haul clean, he'll do his um, two priorities, which is mining, smithing, and crafting. But I do want hauling and cleaning to be a big priority for the most part. I don't think I want anyone else researching because Turtle's the best at it and Turtle has a passion for it. So I think I want just Turtle researching because they're going to be the most efficient, which could mean I want... I could want it to be like that. So Turtle's kind of always researching. And then if we don't have an active research task, which won't be very often, but if we don't have a research task, then they'll haul and clean. I think I kind of like that. So Turtle's just going to be doing research pretty much 24-7. And I think that's okay. Because um, we'll enable some other hauling and cleaning. Ole doesn't have a lot to do other than cooking and smithing and crafting, I guess. So I think we're going to enable hauling and cleaning as a one and then if there's nothing else to do you can grow and plant cut if there's absolutely nothing else to do i think this looks pretty solid um red mining constructing and then hauling and then vaughn i think i want vaughn to haul and clean before growing and plant cutting because vaughn's not great at it i know that was really complicated i know i spent way longer doing that than I probably should have, but I think I really like this. It kind of specializes a couple people, make sure we prioritize researching and hauling and cleaning. I think I like that quite a bit. So that just kind of sets up the priorities just a little bit better, in my opinion. We're also going to get a lamp in there. Darkness does affect their mobility. I so does flooring with the rock um, and soil versus regular floors. But um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, darkness does affect their mobility, so they will work faster and walk faster if there's lights in wherever they're at. So I think that's important too. 
I think we'll get oop, inspired surgery. Turtle has experienced inspiration. She'll perform a surgery at a success rate of double, which is pretty cool. Hopefully we don't have to do any surgeries anytime soon, um, but that's pretty cool. Eclipse. That's all right. Not a big deal. It's just gonna be darker. Everyone's asleep. And then in the morning, we should kind of get those better priorities. Hopefully cleaning and hauling is a little better prioritized. Ole's going to craft some smoke leaf joints. Do until we have 15. So what is Ole working on now? Playing horseshoes. That's cool. All right. I like this quite a bit. I think this is set up a little better. Red's smoking a joint, which is totally cool. Everyone is. A little bit of recreation smoking time in the morning. That's cool. I would like to finish this. You can see red is a really good miner. Before, I think Vaughn was mining, but now that red is mainly mining, that went so much faster. So that's the kind of the benefit of having priorities is like the people that are really good at it are going to do it first. So um, raid, they're going to attack immediately. They're only, oh, we do have a bow and a club. That's okay. Let's go ahead and they're going to be coming from this corner. So let's, Ole can't attack um ole's a pacifist so i think we'll have our colonists kind of line up right here behind this rock these guys are going to attack immediately hopefully we should kind of catch up with them around the same time actually let's fall back a little bit because we're not going to catch up to them in time let's well i guess we're going to have to um yeah okay this wasn't a great idea let's go ahead and fall back to that cover i think they'll follow us fire what's on fire oh there's a raider on this side who's trying to attack us um he's gonna break that door down actually he's gonna break that wall down so i don't really want him killing our this is actually not very good let's have both of our melee well actually let's have vaughn and red come over here i guess because that guy's gonna break our wall down and then hammer and turtle. I don't know why I did it this way, but I did. I actually, turtle's a melee, so I actually want turtle to stay back until forced to, because he has a bow and arrow. And these guys are going to go back inside. This guy's really trying to break the door down. He's got a while to go. Like, it's going to take him a while. So he probably could have killed these guys and then finished them off, but that's okay. It'd be cool if we could take any of these guys prisoner. But if we kill him, we kill him. There we go. He's dead. Cool. Oh, they are fleeing. Okay, so I want to try to attack them. Um, so let's get these guys to attack chimpanzee. And then... He did break through, which is fine. We are going to make sure to replace that before I forget about it. Um, our two guys who are coming in. You got Vaughn and Red. Let's just go ahead and attack Gaxolo. How's Chimpanzee? Okay, Chimpanzee is downed. Um, what does he look like as far as like skills and abilities? He's actually fairly decent. So we are going to capture him. Let's have Turtle and... Let's have... Um turtle undraft and capture chimpanzee hammer let's go be back up over here oh no he's trying to shoot at my elephant don't touch my elephant red's gonna come up and show him what's up though oh just just attack actually let's uh let's melee let's see if we can capture him so let's just melee attack i'd like to capture him if we can ah he died okay no big deal we do have a bow and arrow um, I think we can kind of undraft everyone. We did take Chimpanzee prisoner, which is pretty cool. As long as he hasn't died yet. Nope. Cool. So we do have another prisoner, which is pretty neat. That raid went just fine. It was a little complicated with, like, having to split our troops, but the raid went all right. What's everyone kind of doing right now? Tending to Chimpanzee... Hauling, sleeping, sleeping, cutting stone blocks. Okay. Ole. 
Yeah, I was going to smith and craft. I think the stone block is actually a crafting task, so. Sweet. I would like to... We have enough steel, I think. Yeah, we have a good amount of steel. I would like to get a concrete floor in here. Again, it's more of just an efficiency thing. They walk faster if they have, like, actual flooring. So I would like to get some concrete floor. It's ugly, but it's fast to build, cheap and quick to build, and they'll walk a little bit quicker on it. So I would like to get concrete in there. Alright, this room is done. So let's go ahead. I would like to get some cotton growing. We are going to need kind of cotton long term so let's go ahead i also just found out if i can figure out where it is fertile soil so this dark green is fertile soil and this is just regular soil so we want to actually be growing on the fertile soil as much as we can you can see it is actually darker i did not know that was a mechanic but that's kind of cool let's go ahead and do a growing zone we're going to get it partially on the fertilized soil partially not this is going to be oops this is going to be cotton. Um, with cotton, we can start to build clothes, and then we can get kind of these recreation tables up and running. So let's go ahead and finish building that little hallway. And we do want some flooring. Let's get some wood floor in there. And for right now, we are starting to get some stone blocks, some granite and sandstone. Sandstone, granite. We have more granite. So I guess let's get some granite floors in the medical bay. Um, we don't, it's going to take 176. We only have. Let's go ahead and build. Do we have. Let's go ahead and make granite blocks. Do until you have. Like 230 of them. So they'll do that before they make any type of stone block. And then let's get some granite floors in the medical bay here. So we don't have enough right now, but we will eventually. And then let's also get furniture. Let's get some standing lamps in here. So I think if we just get a couple like there and there, I think that should be good enough. And then for right now, we'll get just a lamp in the middle there. So turtle's researching, because that's pretty much all turtle can do, but that's really good, because that means we'll advance the tech tree super duper quick. Everyone's sleeping. Quest expired. That's all good. I feel like we're just kind of catching up on some things at the moment. What I would like to do, though, so you can see every time that door opens, the temperature fluctuates. And temperature also leaks through walls. So something I learned, if you want to keep kind of the temperature consistent and use less electricity, you want kind of a bit of an airlock so that like, oops, colonist needs treatment. Red, why is red hurt? What happened to red? Oh, it's just the, he's just an extreme pain, I guess. Oh. Oh, they got in a fight. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, well, Turtle, let's rescue Red, I guess. Um, when Red is healed, I want him to pick his... Oh, I guess I can't. Okay, equip Revolver once you're done being healed. I guess I got in a fist fight. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You kind of want an airlock, because it'll use less electricity, and it'll make sure your food stays at a like more consistent temperature. So what I would like to do is... I gotta kind of plan this out a little bit here. If we do, let's reinstall this. Why can't I put it there? Oh, okay. So how do I want to do this then? If I go there, I also learned you really want double wide hallways um, so that, like, your colonists don't get in the way. But we've already kind of done single wide hallways, so we're just gonna have to kind of deal with that for right now. I think I would like... I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to lay this out. Let's go ahead, reinstall the stove... there. 
and we're going to get a door here and we're going to get a wall there and another door there um, this looks messy we'll get rid of this and put a wall there eventually what this does though is it acts as an airlock so like the temperature is not going to leak quite as much and when this door opens it's not going to you know leak quite as much cold air so it should save us on some electricity it's kind of the goal anyways i would like to it's going to kind of mess up our fridge for a little bit but i would like to mine that out and get wood in there Turtle's keeping on his research. Vaughn's healing. Hammer is tending to Vaughn. Turtle's researching. Ole is feeding meals. Oh yeah, we have our prisoner, Chimpanzee. Uh, how's his health? Uh, blood loss, moderate. He's going to survive though. A slaver pack from Menino. Um, I definitely don't want to buy any slaves. That's not the way I'm going to play this game. Um, it can be, in, in terms of like winning this game and efficiency of this game, um, slaving is actually a really valid, um, kind of goaded way to play the game, actually. But I just, I don't, I don't play like that. So I guess we've got slavers in our colony. That's fine. They'll go away in a couple days. Let's go ahead. He has quite a lot of resistance. We're going to recruit him. Um, we would get 12 relationship if we released him. The thing is, their faction, oops, their faction is like super hostile, right? The Dalo kinship. Yeah. It's negative 80. Um, and it is going to, like, gradually continue to go down over time. I think 80 may be the max, but, like, even if we got this up by 12, that's still, whatever that is, 68. And it is going to naturally degrade over time, so I don't think that does us any real good. So I think I would rather try to recruit him. Um, he just does have a lot of resistance, which is okay. Let's go ahead. Not that I want to buy slaves. I'm starting to lose my voice. My goodness. Not that I want to buy slaves, but let's go ahead. Who's the best at intellectual? I think it's Turtle. Yeah, let's have Turtle go ahead and meet up with the slavers just to see. They might have stuff to sell other than slaves. So let's see what they have to trade, at least. Okay, um, they do have more to sell. They actually don't have any... Oh, they do have two slaves. We could, again, sell Chimpanzee into slavery, but I don't like that either, and I don't think that does any good for us either. I mean, you see slaves are ridiculously expensive, too. Let's go ahead and get some... I actually don't really have anything I want. So, yeah. And they're not willing to buy much either, so that's cool. Thanks for stopping by, though, I guess. Ooh, there is some jade here, so I think I will mine that. It is important to know that as you start to collect more resources, your wealth, that's this yellow bar, your wealth continues to go up, um, like kind of the, the worth of your colony. And you can see these little red lines are raids, I believe. The red little dots are raids. The raids will continue to get more frequent and more difficult as your wealth increases. Because they're, like, they're trying to raid you to steal from you. So the wealthier your colony is, the harder and the more frequent the raids are going to become. So that is important to note that you kind of want to like only have an abundance of stuff that you're kind of like using. If you have just an abundance of wealth... Um, Okay, Hammer and Elephant 1 have formed a bond. Hammer has named him Exterminator. I love that. Um, I know we asked for names for the elephant, but uh, Hammer decided the elephant's name was Exterminator, which is hilarious. So we have Exterminator the Elephant. Um, fantastic. How's his training going? Oh my goodness. Okay, so follow master when drafted, yes. And follow master when deal doing field work, yes. So um, the elephant will attack and defend for us which is fantastic um i need you guys to be prepared for eventually the elephant probably dying because we're sending him in battle during our raids um but exterminator can fight for us now and is starting to learn how to haul so um eventually the elephant will start to haul things for hammer so that's fantastic the elephant is going to follow hammer um, when drafted and during field work so that's pretty dope I feel like we haven't gotten much done this episode, but it's really just because, like, our colonists have just kind of been resting. Um, Chimpanzee has gone berserk. Um, that's our... Yeah. So, can we do anything about that? Or do we just kind of have to let him do his thing? I think we just have to kind of let him do his thing. He may break out of prison, though. Yeah, he's going to break out of prison. 
So now, wait, can we not? Why can't we? Um, I think the only way to calm him down is to, I want, actually, I don't want to recruit these guys. I want hammer. The only way to, is actually to melee attack him, um, cause he's trying to escape. Yeah. And he's trying to kill our horse. So we want hammer to melee attack chimpanzee. There we go. Um, <laughs> chimpanzee's berserk rage has come to an end. Yep, we made sure it came to an end. Let's capture champions. Oh, we need a door there. Um, for right now, what I'm going to do, this is going to be very temporary, but we're going to get a prisoner sleeping spot in here while we get a door placed there. So we still have a place to store. That sounded terrible. A place for chimpanzee to sleep. And then we'll move chimpanzee, chimpanzee back in here once that door is built. Okay, I think we're doing all right. I think we may, our batteries are totally full, so I think I may just build a couple more just to have. Um, I think we also need, for our horse to get proper treatment, I believe we need animal sleeping spots. So let's get an animal sleeping spot fairly close, I guess just like, right there for now um i think he'll like um we may go for that one second they will only animals will only get properly treated if they have like an actual designated place to sleep so um quest active we've intercepted messages about a collection of valuables not far from the valley it's a great bow for man hunting guinea pigs and there may be an unknown threat um i'm not a big fan we're right here What is this? A psychic animal pulser. Hmm. I just don't think any of those are worth it at the moment. So we're not going to... I don't think it's worth getting a caravan quite yet. We've got to kind of take care of home for a little bit first, I think. Vaughn is hauling. Getting the floor down. The floor does take a while to build. That is kind of the downside with tile. Um, with stone block is it does take quite a while to build. Red is not doing well at all. Um, he's intense pain and super hungry. He is getting food though, so that should help a little bit. Um, work. I want Turtle right now to focus on hauling and cleaning. Um, we'll take a bit of a break from research just because the place is an absolute mess. So I want Turtle to Turtle's just going to kind of clean up for a little bit, I think. We're also going to turn off this uh, wood generator for right now. Mainly just because this we have an excess of fuel or of uh, power in our batteries and we have an excess of chem fuel. So as long as we can kind of last on just the chem fuel, I'd be kind of cool with that. Yeah, you can see now that they're uh, in sleep spots, they can be treated for stuff, which is cool. Chimpanzee has gotten food poisoning. Yeah, that's because it's a dirty cooking area. Again, we should kind of fix that once we get this little airlock figured out. As far as tailoring goes, we have t-shirts. We do not have pants yet, but that's okay. Chimpanzee. Resistance has gone down a tiny bit, but not very much, admittedly. Okay, I feel like we've got absolutely nothing done this episode, so we should really, really get on it. Hammer is sewing, Vaughn is sleeping. Do we have... Oh, no wonder Vaughn is... Like, I know Vaughn needs to, like, work on himself. I think if we did that, to, like, because of his break risk. But I also need Vaughn to work, too. Like, he can't just be sleeping all day. I know he's not doing very well, but he's got to contribute somehow. And yeah, I think Vaughn is our main cook, so. We are going to forbid the survival meals at the moment. I don't want them eating them unless they absolutely have to, because those are really good for caravanning, since they never uh, spoil. So. Um, Vaughn is sleeping. Turtle. 
praying, stargazing. Cool. I feel we just kind of let them let them regroup for a couple of days. We kind of did a lot all at once. So I think it's cool if we just kind of let them chill out a little bit. It may not be the most exhilarating, but again, we did up the difficulty, which is why it kind of feels like we're like not catching a break. <laughs> that's kind of intentional. And that's kind of how this game really should be played. It's kind of like a constant state of a million things needing done, nothing getting done, and the AI just continuing to throw stuff at us. So that's kind of how this game is meant to be played. But this kind of creates a little kitchen area, which we can make sure to keep clean. That's kind of the idea behind it anyways. Who's our main constructor? Because I feel like construction hasn't gotten done at all. Oh, uh, Vaughn, and he's, he's got to cook before he constructs. So I think Red, let's have Red also construct as well. He's not the best at it, but I would like stuff to get done, so. It also, we broke that open, which is not the greatest. Looks like they're going to the flooring in. We will unforbid those, I think, as well. Got a lot going on, but I think we're doing I think we're doing alright. We're sowing that cotton, which is really good. Um, corn is almost grown. I think we're doing pretty alright. It could also be a good idea to get like a door here, get another small airlock here so that they can take crops directly into the fridge without having to like go inside and go around. We may look into that too. But not right now. Chimpanzee, I can't pronounce his name. It's a super, like it's it's an animal, like chimpanzee. But for some reason I keep jumbling. It's like chimpanzee. Um, I'm going to call him Chimp. Can I actually change his name, or do I? does he have to be a colonist before I can change his name? I don't think I can change his name until he becomes a colonist. Yeah, that's okay. I will probably change his name to just, like, Chimp, because it's easier for me to say. But, one step at a time. Do have some bows. Okay, all of the beds are built in here, and we are going to designate these beds as medical um, I guess we've got to select all of them. Designate them as medical. So we've got a whole medical bay there. Oh, we do need power. We will kind of run. We can't really get power without power line being exposed. So I guess we'll kind of run it down. That way is fine. Again, the power conduits have a beauty of negative two. So... If they're in the wall, it doesn't matter, but when they're in exposed like this, it does contribute towards a negative beauty rating. So, what is Turtle doing? Hauling, cool. Ole playing horseshoes. Yeah, this is all right. I think we may dial this back one just to get another hour of work in. I also saw, and I don't know if this is, I'm just assuming, I'm taking this guy's word. We can get rid of this and just have like these two hours be sleep because they will sleep and they'll kind of wake up whenever they're not tired. So if they are content on like five hours of sleep, they'll wake up at three and just kind of do their own thing. Um, so we'll leave it like that. They have to be up by like seven to do recreation of some sort, but they can kind of do anything. You know, if they're content with three hours of sleep, they just have, you know, three hours of downtime. So that was kind of a suggestion that I got. See, like it's... Uh, 1 a.m. and Red is feeling not tired. Um, actually, he's he must yeah his need for food I guess overtook his need for sleep. But um, you can see he's kind of gonna do whatever he wants instead of sleep. So I'll kind of let them whatever they want to do with their night is totally cool. But they have a mandatory two hours of sleep because you have to get some sleep. But maybe I will make them sleep until midnight. But after 1 a.m., do whatever you want to do really. Um, our medical bay is up and running, which makes me really happy. So, eventually we can get, like, sterile tile. Um, we just want to keep the area clean for, you know, medical purposes. You know, for infections and stuff like that. Um, food binge. Vaughn is on a food binge because his, his uh, needs were low. Understandable. You do your thing. That's totally cool. 
hammer is consuming a meal. Okay, this is starting to get done. Can I have someone prioritize? Oh, I didn't want to cancel. I just want to reinstall that. That's all I want to do. Can I have someone prioritize reinstalling that? Cool. Um, so now this acts as an airlock. So now this temperature won't fluctuate quite as much. And then we have kind of like a kitchen area that we can kind of make sure is kept clean as well so i actually might like have turtle prioritize cleaning the kitchen there we go because it is important to note that like the butchering table is always gonna be bloody so this this room is gonna get gross really quickly that's why we kind of need someone like on top of cleaning but we could also get a light in there which i think we will just because they're more efficient when there's a light there i think i will reinstall that to be a little bit more central as well just because it's bugging me and we are actually low on like actual food so i'm glad who's like our main cook i just feel like cooking isn't getting ole is a 10 fawn is a 10 okay so why is ole stopping ole's not cooking the fine meals why is that not happening missing protein oh okay yeah so the thing about fine meals is they do need two sources of so you can see simple meals can be made with just one source of food but fine meals do need meat or dairy of some sort and then a vegetable so that is important to note that um, we are out of meat so let's go ahead and queue up some hunting i think that's good for now we should look into We don't really have any animals that are like breeding we don't have like a male and a female of any animal which is kind of annoying we have lots of chem fuel here we will harvest those berries we've admittedly got a lot going on like a lot is happening all at once insulting spree you will follow turtle around hurling insults it's just because he's in a low mood um yeah he's he's done with that already why is red so low tired and in pain well you like threw horseshoes instead of sleeping so that's your own fault but um that's okay i feel like we're catching up nicely turtle's continuing to haul yeah turtle's got quite the hauling job ahead but once hauling is done she'll start cleaning it could actually make sense to get someone um, I want cleaning to be a bigger priority than hauling for everyone else except Turtle. So let's turn that into a two task. So Turtle will mainly haul. Everyone else will clean after they're done with kind of their basic tasks. So. We've been recording for 50 minutes. That's crazy. I feel like we've got nothing done. <laughs> That's kind of how it goes, though, with uh, AIs, with changing AIs. It's just, it's harder, which means we're naturally going to feel like we've got less done, less accomplished. So that's totally cool. What do I want to do next? Obviously the recreation room, but we need cotton before we can build anything fun in the recreation room. Let's reevaluate. Okay, I got to reevaluate this a little bit because I want Turtle to research. So, Turtle is going to mainly research. Well, I don't know. I don't know. This is so difficult, because everyone else is kind of... Like, Turtle's the only one that doesn't have valid priorities. I guess let's set smithing and tailoring to two. And crafting to two. Because those aren't, like, vital priorities. I would say cleaning and hauling are kind of bigger priorities. So, Ole's going to cook. If Ole can't cook, Ole's going to focus on cleaning. And Turtle is going to focus mainly on hauling... Um, actually, let's set hauling and cleaning to one, and the turtle's going to mainly research. Because I do want to make sure... Uh, panther hunting hammer. Oh, this isn't good. Um, where's hammer in the grand scheme of things? Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and draft everybody. Hammer, I want you to fall back as much as you can. Luckily, you have the elephant by you. Um, actually, can we just get everyone inside? There we go. And then let's close this door. The panther should... 
give up eventually. Um, let's undraft everyone. Oops. Unforbid that. The panther should give up. So, that's cool. Hunting alpaca. Cooking. Red is cleaning. Okay, so what is red's priorities? Doesn't have any construction or mining or art. So, yeah, red's gonna clean. Okay, cool. That makes me feel better that we're a little bit more on the same page here. Okay, so now we can build that. And then here's what I would like to do. This is going to kind of be annoying for a little bit, but um, let's see here. Orders. No. Structure. Can we get a steel wall? I want to get double walls here. And the reason being is the temperature is going to escape less. If we have, well, I don't know. I actually don't want to do that right now. I don't care enough. I feel like we've got better uses of our time. The area is much cleaner already, which is cool. Hunting, cooking, cleaning, researching, hauling. Okay, cool. We're starting to get caught up on some things. That makes me feel better. Um, now that this is built, let's go ahead and get rid of this sleeping spot. And let's have hammer after you're done. Oh, not assigned to wardening. Who is? Turtle, right? Well, yeah, let's go ahead and prioritize taking chimpanzee to bed. I think we should be good there. Uh, marriage is on. Oh, yay. Okay, so turtles propose marriage to hammer. Um, in the coming days, they'll get a marriage ceremony. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. Turtle will change your last name to Bania. Um, where do I want the marriage to be? I think it could be kind of cute if the marriage is in the fields. Um, there's not really a nicer spot for it to be. So if we go furniture, marriage spot is what I'm looking for. Maybe that's a miscellaneous. Yeah, it is. Marriage spot. Let's have the marriage kind of take place by the fields. I think that's kind of cute. more cleaning okay we're kind of caught up we're probably close to the end of the episode but now i feel like we're a little more caught up on things um it does leave kind of this weird gap here which i'm not quite sure what to do with we could put is there like a table or something to put there like a something we haven't gotten yet electric smelter um we actually probably should think about getting a smelter sooner than later um because we can turn all of the metal slag which I think we have some in here. Admittedly, not very much. We can turn the metal slag. Um, oh, oops. Are we out of graves? Where did we put the graves? Do we not have any graves? I swear we dug some. Okay, well, let's get some graves down. Those are miscellaneous. Graves. Where do I want these? I want them out of the way. I don't really want to see them. Let's have, this can be a little grave site here. It's pretty far out of the ways. We'll take a good amount of graves there. Yeah, we can turn these slag chunks into steel, um, which we don't have very many of right now, but. Chimpanzee is no longer incapacitated, which is cool. Um, Oh, that's kind of cool. So chimpanzee is really good friends with turtle. So I think that may just because, yeah, they built rapport. Cool. Because uh, turtle's the warden. We're down to 16.5. He's going to be upset for a long time. We are not getting, we are not getting chimpanzee anytime soon. We are almost done researching solar panels. After solar panels, did I already go through this? I think I want to start smithing because I would like to get some of our own. Like I would like to get some flak armor. I would also like to get some sterile materials sooner than later though for our hospital area. Anything else crazy that I want in the near future? 
And yeah, I think I'd really like to rush to getting some guns. Realistically, if we could get gun turrets sooner than later. Um, for some better defense. And then probably micro, micro electronics after that. Because we do want kind of the assault rifle is kind of, I think, one of the best guns. So I think we want to kind of rush to gun turret. So that requires blowback, which requires gunsmithing, which requires machining, which requires smithing. So we've got a long journey ahead, but I think that is the best course of action. I like our little kitchen area. It's As long as we can keep it clean, it should kind of reduce the amount of uh, foodborne illness that we've got going on. Um, I also want to make sure that is not in the doorway, otherwise the door will get stuck. Why are we not making pants? Is there a reason... I guess tailoring is just low on people's priorities for the most part. I think now that we're caught up, let's have Ole smithing, tailoring, and crafting as kind of main priorities, and then the haul and clean after that. Okay, we got a medical bay. What else did we do today? Um, we got a little kitchen area. We've been working on chimpanzee. Um, we named our elephant. Elephant's name is Exterminator. How fantastic. Um, Turtle and Hammer are getting married soon. I feel like this is a pretty chill episode, all things considered. Um, we had a raid to kind of start us off, which kind of put us, set us back a little bit, but um, we caught up nicely. Can we... Recreation. I'm going to get, again, we don't have the cloth yet, but we will grow the cotton eventually. So I would like to, before we go, lay out... Oops. Kind of where I want the stuff to go. So the billiards table, I want to go in that corner. The poker table will need chairs around it, but I think I would like the poker table probably over here and we'll get um, furniture. I think we'll just get stools. They don't need like actual dining chairs. We'll get some stools around there. And then we'll also get a chess table, which again, we're kind of doubling up on their like recreation requirements, you know, like the dexterity and the cerebral. Um, we're kind of doubling up on some of them, which isn't necessary, but I kind of like the idea of just having multiple things for them to do, so. I also totally realized I butchered whatever symmetry I was trying to go for. What am I doing? I don't understand. Okay, here we go. My goodness. Oops, cancel that. Oh my goodness. Rotate that, cancel that. Okay, now we've got some symmetry going. That's what I was trying to do. Everyone's in a really good mood at the moment, actually. We might end on a high note before anything else crazy happens because everyone is really, really happy. Um, decent bedroom, impressive dining room. Burning passion for his work. Burning passion for his work. Yeah, now that we've specialized them, they're really happy about specializing into kind of their, their fields of work. Um, which is really good. Oh, and we got some tailoring going, which is fantastic. This bill must be done then. I guess not entirely, but let's cancel that. And actually for right now, let's cancel that too. We will need more stone blocks eventually, but I'd rather prioritize other things. Okay, we finished solar panels. So let's get smithing as our next priority. Again, the way we've got it set up, turtles should kind of like only be researching for like wardening and then researching for like the end of time. So... We could be nice and get a chair there um, for the tailoring bench, which I think we will. We could get chairs for these benches as well, but they're not there very long, so I just, I don't think they're necessary. They just get in the way, so I think we will. I know we're kind of on an excess of bedrooms right now, but in preparation for chimpanzee, let's make this bedroom a little nicer, not there. Eventually we can research carpet, which I think makes the rooms warmer and nicer. Um, if you look at the beauty, the beauty is one in there, 1.1. So not fantastic, but... Um, why are you sleeping in there? Are you still getting medical treatment?
Oh, I guess they're both suffering from sensory mechanites, so they might actually permanently sleep in the medical ward. Because uh, I think they're constantly going to have to be treated for that. Oh, no. Okay. I think they might have to constantly be treated for that. So they might kind of, like, stay in the medical ward for a good amount of time, which is okay. Um, I think we're also going to, just to make it prettier in here, we're going to get a good amount of potted plants. It's a lot of potted plants, uh, but it's going to make them really, really happy. So we could vary up. Um, we can switch the plants that are in there from day lilies to roses. Maybe we'll put some roses in here just to vary it up a little bit. Yeah, we really should be getting like stone tile floors because they're not flammable. And I think they look nicer. I think the beauty. Um, so if we go to floors, the beauty of wood floors, I think is nothing. Um, the beauty of granite tile floors is one. So granite tile floors make your citizens happier than wood, but I really just like the look of wood. Like I think the wood flooring just looks so much nicer than the stone, um, especially like bedrooms and stuff. But according to the game, we should be technically putting granite tiles on things. So um, we are going to get concrete there, I think. And it just makes them walk a little bit faster. I think concrete is actually ugly. Like, I think it's a negative. Yeah, it's a negative beauty, but it makes them... It's cheap to build. And we don't really need our walk-in freezer looking pretty, so. Um, Ole is hauling, which is good. It means they don't have anything to tailor. We could think about... Do we need to make anything else? Not really, honestly. Um, we could get patch leather. Um, so what patch leather does is it takes all of the random leather we've got and combines it into like one singular leather. And I think then we can like use, um, use it for like standardized. Like we could make a t-shirt out of patch leather when we may only have like, you know, 14 lizard skin and a couple of panther fur. We could combine that um, into just patch leather, which is cool. Major break risk, red. Why are you so sad? Um, needs, tired. Why are you not sleeping at night, dude? Is it just because you, like, disturbed sleep? Maybe we should loosen up on this a little bit. Let's go ahead. Recreation there. Let's give him a little bit more of a break in the day. And we can loosen up a little bit because we're doing pretty well right now. So um, I'm fine with us loosening up kind of their, their work regimen for the time being. Oop, what was that? Um, oh, okay. So what happens is if you have such an overabundance of power, sometimes the power lines will get like a surge, like a oversurge. So the fire is spreading. Why is no one firefighting that? We have firefighting as the top priority. Do we not have a expand home zone? That isn't our home zone. Why is no one putting out the fire? I'm so confused. That's in our home zone. Firefighting is their first priority. So why... There we go. I don't know. They should have woken up and done that anyway. But if you recruit them and then immediately unrecruit them, that'll like have them reevaluate their priorities. Um, so that's cool. That did mess up our power lines. Um, oh, they're still built, I guess. They didn't. I'm pretty sure if you had a surge, you had to like replace the power lines. So that's cool that that's no longer a thing. Okay. Well, we've had our ups and downs this episode. I think I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I hate to spoil it. But I think I'm going to pre-record episode 5, like, right after this one. So, another episode of not having any feedback. Again, by episode 6, I should have feedback at that point. Because, um, you know, the day I'm recording it now, episode 1 of RimWorld comes out tomorrow. So, I'm going to record episode 5, I think, today, like, right after this. Shoot Frenzy. Oh, he'll shoot more accurately for 8 days. Cool. Um, we should, I think, hammers our main... Hunter, right? Yeah, okay, so we should assign some hunting if he's gonna shoot more accurately. Let's get these alpacas. 
Um, nothing else really gives good enough meat and fur, but let's count those alpacas. Okay. Um, anyway, as I was saying, episode five, I'm going to record right after this. So unfortunately, I won't have feedback episode five. Um, I promise by episode six, I will have at least episode one feedback. Um, I know it's kind of inconvenient that we're staggering these as much as we are, but unfortunately, it's just the reality of it that I kind of need to pre-record these for the way my schedule works out. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, it was a little bit longer of an episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to stick around, subscribe. What I want you guys to do, though, if you guys are interested in kind of keeping up to date with me and the channel, go ahead. There's a Discord link down below. Go ahead and click that Discord link. We do all sorts of fun stuff over there. You guys get input on new series. Um, we also just launched some exclusive... It's it's free. It's totally free, but some free exclusive content on the Discord. Um, the episode one of RimWorld, we got, uh, I posted a 15-minute teaser trailer on the Discord before... It comes out to the public so if you're on the discord you get access to exclusive content um again you just got 15 exclusive minutes of rimworld footage before it aired to the public so if you want kind of teaser videos teaser trailers kind of we'll do some exclusive mini series on there um there may be like some games that i play that are really short that are like one or two episodes that i don't post on the channel but are discord exclusives so trying something a little new i don't i haven't seen a lot of content creators do something like this you know they'll do like patreons and things like that but, again, I don't want to charge you for anything. I just, you know, some exclusive content to incentivize you guys to join the Discord and be part of the community. So, if that sounds interesting, click the first link in the social tab down below in the description. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.